Shalom, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First of all, as always, I'd like to give all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Bayath Shad of Adah, the house of David, the elect. Adwan Rathazah, which means Lord willing, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And yeah, man, we can see the works of, of the Heavenly Father. All right, at work. Okay. You know, you've seen all sorts of tempest and volcanic eruptions and, and thunderstorms and things like that. Now, okay, there's a record flood that deleted 95 and caused $1 billion in damage, right, in Brazil, right, which Brazil, right, is predominantly made up of the tribe of right, the Israelites, right, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, right, as well as the Israelite foreigner speckled bird, man, you're the children of Israel. Okay, so this took place in, in Brazil, man. Like I said, it was for the most part of the tribe of Asha, right, which means happy in Hebrew. Okay, you know, so, you know, the Lord is, is visiting the world which he made and he's punishing <coughs> the inhabitants of the earth, okay, as well as he's punishing the wicked of our people too, all right, because it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man, all right. So it says extreme rainfall displaces 200,000 as scientists link disaster with climate change. That's what they always do. All these Edomite scientists always link it with climate change. When really, you see how about Shemir Shai doing this? Okay. Rescues were on Wednesday scrambling to reach people cut off by record breaking floods in southern Brazil that have deleted at least 95 people and displaced more than 200,000. As more rainfall was set to further hamper aid efforts. Firefighters, civil defense units, and the army struggled to reach those marooned by water in the southern state of Rio Grande do Sul, some of whom have spent days stuck on roofs of buildings. The historic floods followed a deluge of rainfall in recent days, which some scientists have linked with climate change. One monitoring station in Porto Alguer, the state capital, recorded almost 260 millimeters in three days, equivalent to about two months' average rainfall. Brazil's air force has displayed Israeli designed Hermes, Hermes 900 reconnaissance drones, equipped with high definition cameras and sensors which operate alongside helicopter teams to locate and rescue victims. Volunteers have joined the effort, including people trying to use surfboards and jet skis to reach people in need of help. You see? So, I'm not going to read all of that, but hey man, consider the, the works of the Lord. Okay. You see, this is why repentance is key, man, because we're warning our people to, to turn back to Yahweh Shem El Shai, man. Okay. Let's get the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, and verse 4. Ezekiel 9, and verse 4. And it reads, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before a place. All right, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay. You know, and this is why, you know, <clears throat> we're constantly pushing <clears throat> for our people to repent, man. Okay. We're constantly warning our people to turn back to Yahweh Shem wherever you see our people scattered, man. Okay. Which is scattered all across the world. Okay. And you know, <clears throat> the elect man that they're they're sighing and crying for all the you know all the wickedness that's you know that Esau does, all these heathens, even the wicked of our people that are, are doing in the earth, man. Okay, because we're looking for a, a new heavens and a new earth where righteousness dwells. Okay, you know here we're constantly you know beaten down in the spirit, man. All right, constantly having things to do. Why? Because this place is not our rest. All right. Uh, verse 5 and to the other nations he said he in mine hearing go you after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither have pity slay utterly old or young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man whom is the mark right which in, in the hebrew is tawa exemption spiritual mark all right exempt from judgment all right and begin at my sanctuary right because judgment will begin at the house of israel okay and the lord is no respect of person man old young disabled babies right Know, that's who he's gonna slay. So, you know, anyone can get it, man. We're not. Who, you know, who are we to boast to? Just because someone has a particular status, or you have a particular rich person in this world, doesn't mean they can't get judged. Okay. Let's get the Book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-nine and six. 
and it reads you shall be visited of the lord of hosts lord of armies right with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of the raw and fire just like what we've seen there okay so this proves that we're in the end times this proves that you know yahweh shemir exists. exist all right this is bible prophecy at the end of the day man okay you know you and you'll have a lot of our people in the church man all right you know that's <laughs> Especially the black church, that's a joke. Okay, that's the congregation of the dead. You, you, they'll never, the pastor will never bring out scriptures like this. That's even if they know of it. Okay, see, a lot of them don't even know the Bible, They're probably not even aware that this, this is in there. In there, excuse me. Okay. Um, I just want to sound somewhere. In fact, let's get a blue letter. All right. Well, to be fair, the point has been made. All right. Get this last one and close out. Just wanted to, you know, <clears throat> bring this to your attention, okay? Because hey, this is coming to America, man. Destruction is coming to America, which is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, all right? That's it, Psalm 83 and 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. That's right, man. All the, you know, the uh, emergency services, people on jet skis doing the best they can help. All right. But, you know, whoever the Lord sees, <clears throat> you know, fit as righteous, you know, will be delivered from that. Okay. But scripture mentions whoever perish being innocent. Okay. So, hey, you can't escape. The judgment when you're in the hands of Yahba Shemel Shai. You see? And we've seen a lot of earthquakes, we've seen a lot of floods, we've seen a lot of storms at back to back as well, in various different places. Alright? Scripture mentions diverse places, places in which you might you wouldn't even believe these things would occur. Alright? Hurricanes, tsunamis, the list goes on. Okay. So you know, this is this is where we're at, and these are the times that we're living in. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna say shallow on for now. <clears throat>